Okay, in this video, um, this is going to be another composite transformations video of a matrix. Uh, so this is the matrix I'm looking at, A, uh, 2, 2 root 3, minus 2 root 3, 2. And what I ultimately want to be able to do is to describe A to the power of 2017. Okay, this type of question when you first see it looks ludicrous, but in actual fact isn't too bad. So I'm going to try and pace my way through and show you how to do it. First things first, we need to determine what this matrix is doing. So what we're going to do first is look at where our points have gone to. So I've looked at 1, 0 and 0, 1. So 1, 0 is going to 2, 2 root 3. So that's up here somewhere. So this is 2, 2 root 3. And then you've also got this uh, 0, 1 going to minus 2 root 3, 2, which is um, somewhere over here. Okay, so you can see just by a quick d diagram that we have a stretch involved because it was these points were one away from the origin and now they've been stretched out. And it's also rotation because they're both moving in the same direction. Now, first of all, we need to define uh, what that scale factor of the enlargement is. So, if we look at one of the vertices, one of the points rather, so it has a base of two, a height of two root three. So that's my right angle triangle with the origin. Okay, so that's me looking at this triangle here. I need to work out the hypotenuse using Pythagoras. So this distance d, d squared, is equal to 2 squared plus 2 root 3 squared. So that's 4 plus, well 2 root 3 squared is 2 squared times 3, so that's 12. So 4 plus 12 is 16, so d must be 4. And so if d is 4, that means that we have an enlargement uh, by scale factor 4, so we can now write A as 4, 0, 0, 4 um, times a matrix where each element uh, has been divided through by 4, so I get 1 half, uh, root 3 over 2, minus root 3 over 2, and 1 half. Okay? Now I need to determine what that matrix is. Now I've already spotted um, through my diagram that it should be a rotation. So if I compare that with the rotation matrix, then that means that cos theta is a half and sine theta is equal to root 3 over 2. So if you inverse co cosine a half, you find that theta is 60 degrees. And the same for sine theta equals root 3 over 2. Theta must be 60. So we have an enlargement by scale factor 4 and a rotation anti-clockwise about the origin by theta equals 60 degrees. So if I now want to describe A to the 2017, right? Now, what's going to be happening is that each time I make apply this transformation, my points will get further and further and further away from the origin. But they will keep rotating around. Okay? Keep on rotating around the circle. And 60 degrees is quite a nice number for going around in a circle. So... 60 degrees goes into 360 six times. So if I'm going to apply this 2017 times, if I look at 2017 and divide that by 6, because that's how many times 60 degrees goes into 360, what do I get? So 2017 divided by 6 is 336.166666. So that means that this is 336 remainder 1. So what's happening is that 
if I do this transformation 2017 times, I will go round in a circle 336 times and do one click round um, by 60 degrees extra. So in actual fact, this is including um, a rotation anti-clockwise about the origin of 60 degrees. Okay, so that's the rotation that happens because all the other ones can be ignored because I've gone round and round and round and round the circle. Okay, but I've also got that enlargement. Now the enlargement itself has also been applied 2017 times. And so, this is an enlargement where I've multiplied by 4 2017 times. So it's also an enlargement by scale factor 4 to the 2017. Okay? So I don't know if my calculator can even do that. No. The answer is no. Okay? So that is what we're looking for here, and that. That, these two transformations describe A to the 2017.